Good morning, my beautiful people. So as you can see, my hair is an absolute mess. I slept on it and then combed it out. And when I comb out my natural waves, it just gets very lioness. I'm going to be taking you guys on my journey of getting braces. I just ate, so hopefully I don't have food in my teeth. But just to kind of show you guys my teeth up close. So down here, I have a crooked bottom tooth. Over here, this tooth kind of slightly goes behind the front tooth um this one's just i hate this tooth i want to put like a fake tooth over it or something a veneer or something because i hate it it's smaller than the rest of the teeth it's more yellow than the rest of the teeth i just don't understand it and then if you guys noticed i've always had an overbite right it's always been something that has been like a huge insecurity for me and i've gone <laughs> all the many different routes okay I have done braces when I was a child they didn't really get finished I did the smile direct which I think actually screwed up my bite I think that they caused a little bit more of a lisp for me but yeah I think that they messed up my bite I think that they caused more of a lisp and I think that they caused like a little space here in the front so with today what I'm hoping for is that I can just finally get real braces that are gonna help me fix my teeth straighten them out make them look nice. I can't remember if it was like 14 or 16 months that I have to do this, but I will get all that information for you guys today and share that with you on my journey. I'm really excited. I'm nervous because one, I haven't had braces in so long. Two, I know it's going to be painful. And three, like I just, I didn't want to be a, a brace face, but I did want to get <clears throat> my teeth fixed before my 30th and I'll be 29 this year. So it gives me this whole year to fix my teeth so yeah i'm hoping that it'll be nice the top i'm actually getting the clear brackets and on the bottom i'm getting these little tiny silver ones that they have now they they're completely different from the old traditional big bracket ones they're these little tiny ones that just have like a door that closes over the wire rather than having to put rubber bands over the wire so I think that it's going to be a little bit better. Um, I hope that the white ones will be a little bit less noticeable because I really didn't want to have to have very noticeable braces on. But I'm excited for this and I'm excited to bring you guys along this journey with me because this is something that has been a huge insecurity for me forever. And I, I'm, I finally can like afford to like take care of it on my own. So we're doing it today. I will give you guys like all the information when I get back we can talk about it. My appointment today is at 2 o'clock so I will be off work at 1.30 for the rest of the day and then I can come back tell you guys everything about it. I'm hoping that I can probably record some of it. I'm going to see if I can ask the ortho or maybe the attending there um, if I can record some of it just so you guys can kind of see the process but I don't know how um, comfortable they are with that. So we will see. But until then, I will see you guys. Maybe the next time you guys see me, I will have braces. All right, let's do a little outfit of the day. Don't mind that. Jonathan just did laundry and he did some for me, so I have to fold and put away my clothes. But for today's outfit of the day, I am wearing this little champion shirt. This was actually Cody's and I cut it into a crop don't mind my lines but I cut it into a crop and I roll the sleeves just to give me kind of like you know a little casual look it's cute I got this belt from Shein just super cute I needed more black and brown belts so I bought this one from Shein and I'm just wearing my black high-waisted jeans these are super old they're from Forever 21 but they're still like one of my favorite jeans as for accessories nothing crazy day I'm just doing little studs and then on my feet don't look at my or on my ankle I actually have just a little anklet I haven't done my toenails yet this week but here is the outfit of the day and then for shoes today I'm just gonna wear my adidas these ones so that would be my outfit so I want to get into the habit of showing you guys my outfit of the days in videos where I'm actually dressed just because like I used to do outfit of the days all the time on YouTube that was like old school Heather so I feel like I should implement it in more of my videos so if you guys like that definitely give this video a thumbs up and give me a thumbs up for going on this braces journey this is gonna be tough guys but I'm here for it so I will see you guys when we go to get the braces so I am on my way to the ortho um, luckily it's not super far from me so it takes me like two seconds to get there which is nice I'm excited nervous but ready like so ready for this also didn't want to wear my glasses I wanted to wear my contacts but I totally forgot so oh well I was too busy watching like 
snippets from Paris and Nicole's Simple Life. I don't know if you guys ever saw that, but if you did, I was watching snippets of that. And then I was like, oh, I gotta go. So, let's go. Here we go. Ooh, that's me. <laughs> I'm excited, but nervous. But here we go. Ready for braces. The brackets are on. They're gonna close them up. Hey guys, I couldn't record as much. I don't want to wear these right now. I couldn't record as much in there just because, like, you know, they're, they're super busy and they're just, like, doing lots of stuff. And I was like, I don't really want to, like, ask and then be weird. But, okay, so here they are. Your girl got braces. I'll show you guys with my other camera, too, because it's better. The only thing that's, like, kind of annoying is you can tell that my slightly yellow tooth is, like, more yellow than the brackets it's just super weird because see i'm already talking weird because i can feel stuff right here and i feel like that's the weirdest part of it but i mean at least when i smile watch you almost can't see these ones which is good i'll give you guys like a full on with my good camera but i just wanted to show you guys i just got done the doctor here is just so incredibly sweet Everybody here was super sweet, especially like the attending I had. They, they were just like super nice. They were super informative and like I really like just like how comfortable they made me feel and continuously asked if I was good, if I had questions. So I love that. Yeah, and plus everybody was like so nice. They were giving me so many compliments like you teeth are already so pretty. You're so pretty. I was like, stop. I'm getting sweaty. <laughs> I can't take compliments, guys. I'm so weird when it comes to that. But all right, I'm going to go home. I got to get in some comfy clothes so that I can go over to best friend's house. We're going to have our scary movie night. And, uh, yeah, I'll show you guys what it looks like in my good camera. And then we can kind of just, like, I'll just kind of, like, talk to you guys about it. I think what I'm going to do for this video, just so it's not, like, super short, is kind of give you guys, like, here's what I felt the day of. And then I'll give you guys, like, an update tomorrow, like, how my teeth are feeling. And then maybe, like, <clears throat> in a week from now. And then we can post the video. I think that's what I'm going to do. Okay, I promised you guys to see what it would look like with the good camera so here they are I feel like only right here and right here are really weird and uncomfortable but it's not too bad so and I feel like you can't see like these ones as much obviously as these so it's not bad I'm gonna go have dinner with Erica and I'll kind of check in with you guys later tonight to see how they're feeling here we go. Good morning, guys. It is Friday morning. It's like 6.40 or something like that. I'm getting ready to work out. But I just want to update you guys on how they feel. So much pain. I woke up so many times in pain. So first of all, I had to put wax on these three and then these two because they were just cutting up my top area here. Also, let's talk about how long they had me stretched open. Now I have, like, lines right here. So I'm going to have to put some deep ass lotion and serums on today. But, yeah. So, pain level. Oh, my God, guys. It's just, like, so here's the thing. When I was, like, in Smile Direct, I could just pop them off and, like, let my teeth breathe for a little bit. If it was hurting too bad, you can't just pop off braces, right? So it is just so sore. And it's just like, it's pain. I'm going to have to go get some Tylenol to ease the pain because I don't have Tylenol. I don't normally use Tylenol. So I'm going to have to go get some when the store is open. But, yeah, it's not unbearable. It's just so uncomfortable. Like, I just feel like sore. I just feel like someone punched me in the face. So, yeah. And I did wake up, like, all night long in pain like I woke up so many times I think I woke up like four or five times just from the pain and I was like just go back to sleep Heather it's fine but oh my god and then like mm, mm. I have a feeling I'm not gonna be able to eat today like food so I might just do a smoothie for breakfast thank goodness I use protein smoothies that are like a billion calories and stuff but Mm. don't like it so that's my update for today i will update you guys at the end of the day and then i'll update you guys at the end of the week like a whole week 
unless there's like anything that changes during the week. Little follow up for you guys because I'm on my lunch break. I tried to eat and I could not. So I went and got a few groceries that I felt like would be helpful for me just to kind of give me something to eat because I feel like if I don't do this for like the, at least the first week, like I'm just going to be starving because it was really hard to even eat breakfast this morning. For breakfast, I had scrambled eggs in a smoothie, and the eggs were just like, it was pretty miserable. So, I was trying to eat literally just the canned chicken that you make like chicken salad with, and it was way too hard. So, I went out and I bought some soups. So, I got this creamy tomato basil from Progresso, and then I got this uh, light chicken noodle soup from Progresso. So this one's definitely gonna be a better option for me to eat. Plus like, I wanna be careful with the red sauce, but I figure if I just, you know, drop it back, it won't be a problem. I also got this organic minestrone soup because I like minestrone and I figured like vegetables would have a little bit better, um, I don't know, like macros, but I don't know. And then I also got this chicken and rice one. Not that you guys care because this is braces vlog, but I also thought it would be important for me to kind of show you guys like what I have to do in order to eat while my teeth are hurting. I also got bananas. I figured I could kind of mash these up, maybe put them in my oatmeal or something. I also got this nut butter that I wanted to try out just to see what it would taste like, maybe throwing it on top of an oatmeal. So it has one egg white, 18 almonds, half a date, and it's vanilla flavored. I also got some pudding because I love pudding. When it's sugar free, when I want a sweet treat, it's only 60 calories and 11 carbs, so it's not horrible. And then I actually found these today at the grocery store. These are ratio keto friendly yogurts, which is bomb because it's got 15 grams of fat, 2 grams of carbs, 15 grams of protein, and 1 gram of sugar for the container. So I'm like, that's bomb. Plus, it's like 200 calories with only 2 carbs and 15 grams of protein, guys. Like, that is bomb. So I got strawberry, which I've tried today, and it was so good. I got vanilla, and then they also had a black cherry flavor. So I'm going to get those so that way I can make like little smoothie bowls. Maybe some banana and not smoothie bowls, sorry. Uh, yogurt bowls for like days where I'm like, okay, I don't want eggs or anything like that. And then I also got um, some baby food because I used to really, this is such a weird thing, I used to really like baby food and I figured, you know, if it's for babies, it can't be that unhealthy. But I figured like just a little snack, this one's only 90 calories, it's banana, cinnamon, and granola. I figured this would just be good for me to like snack on when I'm like super hungry and I just need something and I don't want to worry about trying to chew anything. So this is my little food haul that I got for my braces. And as you guys can tell, I am kind of still talking weird with them, which is kind of annoying, but it's only day two. It's going to get better. Like I said, I'm going to show you guys. Probably today will be like the only day that I film unless anything exciting happens from now until my next week. But then I'll also follow up with like a week update of like how it's feeling, if it's more comfortable in my mouth and all of that. I think once I get over the initial like pain here where like it just feels like my mouth is getting stuck, it'll be easier to like talk and do things with. So we'll see. I feel like it's making <laughs> the way I talk worse, but it is all for a good cause. I have to just keep reminding myself of why I'm doing this. <laughs> so that's that. I will either see you guys later or I'll see you in a week. Okay, so today is, I have such a mess cause I'm like editing and stuff, but today is the 24th. I got my braces on the 17th. So literally a week ago. I got my braces and I just wanted to kind of update you guys on this week. Sorry if I look a little busted. I don't normally get like ready ready for work. Normally I'm just like in a bun, no makeup, but they've been making us do video chats or video calls every morning for our meetings. So I have to like put a little something on to look a little bit put together. But anyways, I just wanted to kind of update you guys on how my teeth are feeling 
today, a week after getting them. So today actually was one of the best days of the seven because it wasn't really hurting very bad. So literally every single day, the second day was the absolute worst. The second day was like, I woke up like every single freaking hour in pain um, the night prior. The morning after, like I literally could not eat without it hurting so bad. It literally felt like somebody was just like grabbing my teeth with like so much pressure and just like squeezing it. You know what I mean? Like it just, it was not fun. So second and third day were pretty bad just because all of my teeth hurt. Like the, the pressure from the braces themselves was hurting plus the bite. Then if you fast forward a couple days, it was more just the bite. Because I was using this side of my mouth more than anything else to eat food, this side started hurting so bad. So now I had pain on both sides when I was chewing, which sucked, and uh, the front was still hurting. Today, however, I was able to eat on both sides without it hurting really bad. It was still a little bit of soreness, but not crazy. And I'm actually noticing now that like to the touch, there's not a lot of soreness in the front. I still haven't tried biting into anything just because like, I don't know, I'm scared. The doctor told me that my teeth would shift pretty quickly because of, you know, the fact that they weren't super crooked to begin with. And also I had already done treatment, you know, less than a year ago, I think, or maybe about a year ago now. So she did mention that it would probably move pretty quick and I am noticing that the wire at the bottom seems to be a little bit loose already and I don't know if that's because my teeth have already shifted and they need to like adjust it or what. That's what I'm hoping. After this weekend if it feels a little bit off I'm going to call but that's what I'm thinking the issue is. So that's what we're going to go with, okay? First week with braces thoughts. First things first is I would say anybody who's getting braces, like just prepare yourself. Be ready for the fact that it's going to be extremely uncomfortable. It's going to hurt and you are going to be super hungry because there's so many things that you can't eat had you not had braces. You know what I mean? Like I am so used to snacking on like a lot of my like protein snacks, which are most of them are pretty hard. Like I, I eat these little pop chips, um, not pop chips, they're popcorners. I don't know. They're little kettle corn chips because they're so good. But I'm, I was so used to like eating my chips and just, you know, like certain things that I could snack on biting into string cheese. Like there's just a lot of stuff that I did just in a normal day of eating that I'm not able to do right now. So I'm hoping that like in the next few weeks or week hopefully in the next week to be honest I can go back to eating a little bit more regularly um, where there won't be any pain but we'll just have to wait and see but yeah just prepare yourself for being uncomfortable being in pain I only used Tylenol the first two days I think oh no I used it the first day I got braces the day after and then the day after that so for about three days ish I used Tylenol and that's about it the rest of the days I haven't touched it because I haven't really been in that kind of pain it's really just the first night slash second morning day all day actually um, where things really feel super uncomfortable and just like not bearable so you're gonna need a little bit of Tylenol okay I'm being honest but yeah so prepare for not being able to eat all the things you like to eat prepare for just feeling kind of gross like I always feel like I have food in my teeth and I'm always like talking like this or like picking at my teeth because like I just don't want to be talking to somebody and then I have like food everywhere you're ready to like brush your teeth very often I was already doing that when I was on my Smile Direct, like I would brush my teeth before putting my aligners back in, so I brushed them quite often. So it's something that I'm already used to, but if you're not used to brushing your teeth multiple times a day, get used to that or else you're going to have some stank mouth and some food all up in your stuff. Just saying. I have gone through an entire thing of wax and I actually just purchased a six pack and it came today so I'm so happy about that because I don't think I would have been able to survive without the wax. So definitely keep that in mind. You want to get some wax. The doctor will probably give you like a little go home case that has it but like order more wax. I promise you this is going to be your saving grace like get yourself some wax I guess that's like all I want to update you guys with right now if you guys have any questions of what you want to ask me about braces please leave them down below because I would love to be able to answer those for you guys and kind of see like what else maybe I should be asking my ortho or you know just give you guys like an idea of what to expect if you're looking into getting braces and I'll definitely be keeping you guys updated on this journey this is just the first week we have <laughs> we have an entire year and some, okay? 
I'm low-key hoping though that my teeth move so quickly that they're like, you know what? You don't need that last two weeks of braces because I really don't want to have braces for my Dirty 30 and I will literally be getting these off November 17th, 2021. And my 30th birthday is November 3rd, 2021. So I'm like low-key hoping maybe like as time progresses, not this first follow-up, but maybe like the second or third follow-up as time progresses um, and they kind of see how my teeth are shifting and they can tell me. But fingers crossed, guys, that I don't have to be a brace, brace, brace face for my Dirty 30. Honestly, if they even just took off the top ones... I would be happy because like you can't see these ones as much and oh that's another thing I wanted to tell you guys if you guys do not care about aesthetics clearly I did which is why I got the white ones on top but if you don't care about that these guys right here opt for the small brackets they're literally virtually painless like obviously there was pressure the very first night especially here because this is where my really crooked tooth is but the pressure on the top teeth compared to the bottom teeth, oh my goodness, you guys, huge difference. Like, the bottom doesn't hurt. I haven't really put wax on the bottom. Like, the bottom has been chill. And the doctor said that these smaller brackets would be less friction and less pain. So I was like, I'm with it. So things to consider before getting braces is if you don't care for it to be aesthetically pleasing, opt for these smaller brackets because they're easier to talk with. I don't feel like my mouth feels uncomfortable as much on the bottom as it does on the top. And again, it's a lot less painful than these bigger brackets that I have up top, especially with like cutting up the insides of my mouth, but also just in general. Like I just feel like they're a lot easier to like bear. I don't know. So that's something to think about too. Like if you are going to go for the traditional braces route, just really look at your options between the traditional like big silver brackets to the little brackets to the white brackets so do a little bit of research on that because there is a big price difference for them and also um you know just the way they fit i have to be super careful like that's another thing too that i like low-key wish i just had silver all over because i have to be super careful with like what i eat um even though they said that red sauces aren't going to stain as bad as they used to with when they first came out with like the white braces i still have to be very careful i still brush my teeth after anything that could possibly stain or just any food really because that's just how i am but especially when i'm eating things with like red sauce or just anything that can stain my teeth i'm like brushing right after that meal because like i don't want them to stain so definitely things to consider definitely things to keep in mind and like i said if you guys have any questions whatsoever please let me know down below. I'd love to answer those for you guys. And I'd also love to ask my ortho if there's things that maybe I don't have the answer to, but you guys are curious on. And if you guys want like a breakdown of like everything, like how much they're going to cost, how much I pay monthly, like all that stuff, let me know down below too, because I can definitely do a video on that. But yeah, I just wanted to kind of give you guys like an experience of the beginning stages of my journey of braces. That's pretty much it. Thank you guys so much for watching. It really means a lot to me. I hope that you guys are enjoying the content that I put out. I will continue to put content out. I have a lot of stuff in the works that I'm hoping to get out and bring to fruition. No, I'm hoping to get a lot of stuff out to you guys so that I'm not leaving you hanging for like a month or two at a time. I want to be really consistent so that you guys have content to come back and see, but I don't want to just bombard you guys with vlogs. So I'm hoping that like throwing some videos in with my vlogs will make it more fun. So if you guys enjoyed this video, please give it a huge thumbs up because it helps me out a whole bunch. I want to leave those comments down below if you guys have questions or whatever. I always read all your guys' comments. Even if I don't get a chance to reply to them all, I read every single comment. So yeah. With that being said, thank you guys again so much for watching. I love you guys so much. I would not be here if it wasn't for you guys. So thank you. Have a good day.